Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Ray Valley, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server where you can interact with me and other D-Ray Valley fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Right, so here we are in another episode. In, in the previous one, as you probably remember, we have discovered Bob's little secret. So now we got access to uh, whatever that was called, uh, like a um, mm, personal vehicle, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let's call it like that. I, I always keep forgetting how, how they call that uh, that little uh, little uh, vehicle. Anyway, uh, it's not a caboose. It's, it was like, um, can't remember. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, let's call it crew vehicle. There we go. Uh, so that is going to be our crew vehicle. So anyway, in this episode, we are going to take it for a spin uh, because it, it would be nice to, to actually give it a shot and, and ride a little bit. So providing that it's operated by by muscles and and propelled by by muscle power i don't think we are going to take it for a long route though i think if we can make it to machine factory in town to eventually obtain another addition to to my equipment uh hopefully if i can find it in in machine factory in town then yeah yeah i i think that would be that would be a uh, good uh good start of this video and then we will see what we can do next i haven't really planned that to be fair <laughs> right so get on to it so uh controls of that thing uh, well you would be surprised but it is not controlled by wsad buttons it is controlled by old and famous mouse wheel at least when you are not using vr on vr you would have to use your hands and actually crank this thing but when you are playing using mouse and keyboard then obviously oops then obviously you need to get your timing sorted so whenever other side goes down, you have to push it forward. Whenever other side goes up, you have to move your mouse wheel to the back. And then you can get amazing results and absolutely smash it in terms of speed. As you can see, I can actually reach quite, quite large speed with that thing. I actually wonder if I can derail it. Let's give it a shot. Whoop! Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, and we derailed. Yeah, uh, so it is possible. <laughs> you can actually pretty fast derail that thing. Right. Mm, oops, uh, no, not clear. Uh, I want a different mode. Cancel. Uh, crew vehicle rerail. There we go. Uh, we need to go to machine factory and town so I can put you here. Okay. Oh, it's it's rolling back. Why is it rolling back? Stop. Stop. You, sir, stop. There we go. Don't you dare moving. Wrong way. Okay. Right. Uh, are we going the right direction? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's get going. Ooh. Mm. 
Yeah, we can go really fast with that thing. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to derail once more. Wow, <laughs> okay, we are smashing it. Come on. Ah. Uh. It's taking forever. Oops, uh, I messed this up, but we are almost at our destination. Yay! Okay, so now I can uh, switch. There we go, let's go to a siding. Uh, in fact, it would be maybe better to go there, anyway. Uh, I'll be fine. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Okay, we can go through this track. I definitely need to clear away from this siding. I might need to use it. Ooh, that was fast. I'm not sure how fast I'm moving, but this thing can definitely reach some speed. I'll try to get it to, to the roundhouse, which is somewhere... Oh, there it is. I just need to get through this place. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, we can now throw this switch, there we go, I think the other one is already turned, is that, yeah, I, I think there is a small loco and there is a steamer there, fantastic, fantastic, right, let's get this bad boy on the road, oh, Okay, that should be enough. Very, very, very good. Okay, I can put it on the same siding as, as this big boy. We won't be using that anyway. Okay, beautiful. Right, so... Crew vehicle parked. Okay, fantastic. We got we got small easels. Okay, okay, okay. Fantastic. Right, good, good. Shunters are here, so we can use them. But first, I'm going to visit local store. And I, I hope that, yes. There it is. Uh, long awaited. Uh, many of you were trying to convince me to, to buy uh, locomotive remote control it costs 25 grand so let me just buy it oh uh, wrong button uh, why am I behind the counter I don't want to be behind the counter oh that that's the right button let me use the wallet 
deposit the money and there we go uh telocotec uh, e9000 okay let's see what okay it's easy to set up click the power button to turn on the controller take the controller inside a supported locomotive click power button per loco on the controller to pair it with the locomotive the locomotive can now be operated with the controller the battery is recharged via an integrated solar panel when exposed to the sun okay battery level can be seen indicated next to the power button okay when the controller is turned off it does not automatically halt the locomotive oh uh Telecotec uses radio technology. Recommended operative range is up to 400 meters. Above that range, signal loss may occur with a complete loss at 650 meters and above. When the controller goes out of range, it does not automatically halt the locomotive. Okay, okay. Good to know. Right, so now we got... Uh, we got remote control. Wow. So independent brake, train brake, sand, I can turn it off. Oh, horn, nice. Uh, reverser, I think. Throttle, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, okay, I got automatic uh, coupling thingy. Okay, okay, okay. And I can power it up and off. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We will give it a shot. With with some shunting job, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to go anything fancy. Uh, because, like, this episode shouldn't last for too long. But I will definitely pair that thing with one of the locomotives. And I'll try to not derail today. I will try to not derail. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Right, so which one of you am I going to take today? Uh, you look sad, I, I can't drive you. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I can turn the power on. And now I can pair it. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, it works. Good. Okay, there is nothing to select. Train brake, everything works. Independent brake. Okay, turned off. Horn. Okay, sound off. Fantastic, but I need to turn the locomotive on. Wow, nice. Okay, let's give it a shot. It is charging, nice. Um, which truck is it? That's the one. Let me just uh, turn this thing on. Oh. There we go, okay. So, locomotive remote. Uh, reverser goes up, there we go. Okay. Hey, it's working! <laughs> and I can see my speed. Nine kilometers per hour. Nice. Hey, so far so good. I didn't... I haven't derailed. Which is... Oh. Why am I turning it the wrong direction? Come on, come on, push it, push it a bit more. There we go. All set. 
Right. Oops. Forgot to turn off the brake. There we go. Hey, now it goes. Fantastic. Yeah, it's it's really amazing device. Uh, I'm still a bit scared to use it, and I I really haven't looked into into um, like a shortcut buttons, so I need to operate it using mouse. Not that bad. Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely look into uh, keyboard shortcuts, and and we will start using some some of those. Uh, I'm not I'm not the greatest fan of them though. Uh, it's still fun, uh, and I have to admit that I am running surprisingly fast considering that this thing is doing 20 kilometers per hour right okay yeah uh, our character can can run quite fast I, I have to say hey you stop good okay uh, now I need uh, wrong. There we go. Uh, break off and throttle up. There we go. Now this thing will roll somewhere. I think it's gonna stop on loading lane. If everything is... Yeah, we, we should end up on, on loading lane. Which is good. That's a perfect spot for uh, spot for us, and that's exactly where I want to be. Right, fifteen kilometers per hour. Oh, it. Huh. Oh, okay. So that is far enough for me to lose the signal. Yikes. I didn't thought that this is far enough. Anyway, locomotive is rolling, so I will turn the throttle off. Good, 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 good. Very, very good. Right, let me see if there is any, any good shunting for us. Right, unload and store a train with cryo oxygen. I can't use this one, so you are going to bin. What's next? Shunting. Two drop-offs. Hmm. Unload and store a train with Nova shipment from Electronics Brown Tolling. And track shipment for Tolly. Okay, okay, okay. We can... Uh, I think we can do that. Yeah, that's that's going to be a good start for us. So I think that's that's the train. Uh, let me just quickly check. SU49. Yes, so let me get my locomotive controller. And let's roll and connect to those wagons. Let's see if I can do it using remote uh, okay I got a nice spot to to overlook the operation okay range is good I wish I could operate those loading unloading thingy um, with with my radio or something but I guess that that would be too much automation right anyway i am now rolling past those wagons i need to change some switches oh uh let me climb onto this thing can i see all those switches um no in fact i can't see them
Okay, the loco is more or less at the right spot. We can now turn the reverser the other way. Fantastic. Let me just use... Okay, that's one. And then I need to go here. And I need to connect to this consist. Fantastic. So, locomotive remote. Break off. Uh, there we go. Okay, and now just a touch on the accelerator. Six, seven. That's pretty fast, I have to say. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. That should give us enough momentum to connect with those Nova shipments. Okay, we are entering the right siding. I actually need to give it a touch on. Okay, four kilometers per hour. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Couple. There we go. Everything is connected, I think. So, reverser goes the other way. Brakes are off. And now let's apply a bit of a throttle. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I think the train might still be braking a little bit. Uh, I might have not given it enough time to to release the pressure from, from the brake pipes. There we go, there we go, it starts to roll. Uh, so yeah, I, I think uh, there might still have been some some pressure in, in the brake system. Uh, but, uh, but now we are rolling nicely. Five kilometer per hour. We need to go past this uh, junction completely. And I need to go back with this train to loading lane. And then we can accept the task and, and try to finish it on time. Okay, okay, okay. That, that remote is, is a thing that I'm starting to like a little bit. Just a little bit. Not completely. But yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a nice tool to have in your inventory. It will definitely be very useful when when trying to operate two trains at the same time or even three uh, with a three uh, with three locomotives it would definitely make a huge difference uh, later on i will probably try some mods to to eventually work with it uh, i i saw that some of you mentioned uh, there are some mods to to operate two locomotives at the same time uh, I think two days ago I've been watching a stream from one of uh, uh, other uh, YouTuber. Uh, he's uh, making streams from Tiray Valley, uh, and he is actually playing this game with uh, with all that uh, VR headset and and stuff. And and he was playing with uh, with like a mod that that uh, did like a night time in in the game. Uh, the only problem with that mod was uh, there were some issues with cab lights and, and stuff like that. So it was really hard to see anything during the night. Uh, as well as uh, there was a problem with the length, at least for me. Uh, because in most cases I would be playing uh, during the night, uh, which is not exactly uh, the time that I would like to play. Right. Anyway. Uh, we are now ready to reverse back to our previous position. So let me 
uh, take off independent brake. Let me switch reverser. And now we can reverse back to loading lane. Ooh, that might be a little bit too fast. Ah, come on. Ah, there we go. Uh, it's still a little bit tricky uh, to, to operate it. I need to learn it a little bit more and definitely I need to look at uh, those uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, but it's still fun. It's still really, really a lot of fun. So definitely long awaited uh, addition to my inventory. Uh, many of you uh, really wanted to see that. So here, here we are. <laughs> it's really fun. It's, it's definitely on a fun side. Uh, just just watching all that stuff happening while while you are standing on top of some sort of containers it's it's really exciting <laughs> uh wouldn't say it makes things faster or or easier i i actually got used to to running and and doing all that stuff manually uh, at least so much that that it it really doesn't feel like it's making actual difference but it's it's still definitely fun thing to do right and it definitely gives another perspective uh, to to see uh, the right moments to to start breaking and, and such so yeah it 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 definitely has some good benefits to it right i can now start slowing down and in fact, I can use a train brake to do so. And... Perfect. Just look at this. Wow. We, we managed to stop at the perfect spot. So let me just turn this brake on. Turn this one off. Uh, let's change the reverser to, to, to rear right and now it's time to check the job so the job wants us to unload this thing so that's what we will do train mass 470 tons uh, yeah you can feel that it's pretty heavy uh, but it it still was manageable by by this shunter I like that's the problem with the remote. You, you just don't feel that your loco is struggling until until you actually see that. Oh yeah, it's it's a bit overweight. Uh, but yeah, it, it is working eventually. All right, so C3I, C1L, and then B1S and B6S. Right, so last three, I believe, is it? Uh, 531, yeah, uh, let me just quickly scout the wagon names. Uh, 312, yeah. And 553, so I need to go to B6S first. So where is B6S? Let me unload this thing. So B6S is... I, I actually don't know where I am. So let me see those names. Okay. So 6S is there. The last truck. And it's set up there. It is set up there. It is set up there. Uh, but I need to go past this junction. Far there. Okay. 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 Uh, local remote. There we go. Uh, I definitely need to clear my inventory. So now I should be on the right... Okay, I can do it that way. Uh, mouse wheel works, but you need to be a little bit more persistent in, in turning it. And then you can flick those things on, on this controller. Okay, it would definitely be easier for me to, to drive this loco if I would... Uh, took down independent brake. Uh, note for self, yes, you need to turn off the brake before you set off. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, we are doing nice 16 kilometers per hour, 17. Yeah, this loco is now flying with that cargo. 
and that's for sure. We can go up to 30 kilometers per hour using this uh, this setting. Uh, I reckon it won't happen anytime soon, but I will turn the throttle off. I'm not sure if I will be able to operate those junctions from here. Uh, it might be a little bit too far already. Uh, yeah, I, I need to switch that junction over there uh, where my cursor is pointing. So I am definitely running a little bit far away from the local. Oops. Uh, we are about to reach the point where I need to stop. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, it works, it works. Uh, so let me just put this on the third slot. And now I need radio comms. So I need to switch this one. There we go. And then... I think you can just go. Right. And now, the question is, can I... Eventually decouple... That's 10, 9, 8, 7. So if I would uncouple 7. Right. If I would set reverser to forward. And we will try to push those wagons. Like launch them into into this siding I, i'm not sure how well this will work so uh hopefully everything will will work as intended um, i i reckon it won't right anyway uh let me just apply the throttle come on come on just a bit more Okay, last three are... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. It's not last three. Yikes. Right. Uh, we will have to couple those. Yikes. Okay, okay. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, let's chase my cars. Oh my goodness me, I, I need to learn how to operate that thing. Right. Oh well, I tried. I tried, but I failed. I will have to do it the good old way. Right. Uh, I definitely need to take my time and uncouple these. And I need to grab this wagon from here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Oh well, I, I was trying to save some time. I eventually lost some time. Uh, very unfortunate. Right, locomotive remote. Uh, let's push those wagons a little bit faster. I need to drive in, pick that one last wagon that I uncoupled uh, incorrectly. Then reverse back there, switch that, uh, flick that switch, and reverse. I think it's it's this siding, uh, right in the middle, to to leave this consist. So yeah, I was trying to save some time. I lost some time. I just need to uh, work on those couplers uh, a little bit more. Right, uh, I definitely need to reduce the throttle. And I would like to use some independent brake. Some more independent brake, in fact.
Yikes. I, I smacked into... Uh. Right, let me just check if it's correctly coupled. So, this one is... Oh my goodness me, it is coupled again. Yes, it is. And I don't want you to be coupled. Oh no, this isn't coupled. But this is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I could eventually couple that. Did I stop the valve? I did. So it should uncouple now. So I will change the reverser. Come on. Once more. There we go. And then I can turn the throttle. Okay, it works. It works. We are back on track, ladies and gentlemen. We are back on track. Right, so now let me just find out where I need to be. There we go. So, um, where is this job? Uh, that's the job. B6S, so that's where I left first three car. B1S, oh my goodness me. So I don't have to reverse that far because everything is going to happen on on this siding. Okay, okay, okay. So it's even better. Uh, I still need to fit this consist with with the rest of of the stuff. Okay, okay, that makes things better. I I thought I I need to get into C siding but i can remain on on siding b uh where's my uh remote control there we go uh i just need you oh we are far enough there we go this one is switched this one is switched okay here we go. Independent brake off. There we go. And now we are rolling in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I definitely need to work on that, but it it's fun. It's really, really fun. Okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, I do have some space. We should be alright. To push those wagons a little bit further. I will have to couple them. Ten kilometers per hour. We are nicely rolling in. I don't want to go too fast uh, because obviously there is an obstacle on this siding and I don't want to damage those cars. I probably already did that uh, while trying to, to recouple uh, the car that I accidentally uncoupled. But well, uh, we've lost some time on this, that's for sure. Uh, let me just use independent brake a little bit. Seven, six, five. Okay, independent brake off. Five kilometers is the speed. Oof. Oof. We literally smacked into it. Uh, right. I can now use a throttle to just violently push those wagons. Uh, even though last two will provide some braking power. I should be alright to, to just push them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, just a bit more. Yeah, my, my speed is definitely reflecting the fact that I'm pushing something that has brakes on. Uh, but we should be alright, let me just see how far we got. Yeah, we can definitely keep pushing. There is plenty of space.
There we go. Come on. Come on, Shunter. You can do it. I know you can. Okay. 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 And now... Yeah, the whole thing should pretty much immediately stop. There we go. Uh, yeah, we are more or less on the siding. So... If I will uncouple this, there we go, I should now be disconnected from the consist. Yes, I am. Good. So it's time to give our mission back to where it belongs. So let's, let's validate the job. Completed in 12 minutes. Good. We, we earned some money. Good. So now we can pay the fees and yeah there is that old locomotive that we used and and we left it next to bob's garage <laughs> and it has nine grand on it wow this is quite expensive right let me just turn this loco off there we go a little bit less noise for us Right, so that was it. Uh, that was uh, our first try with uh, remote control. Uh, I hope that that you enjoyed this episode. And, and yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button. And don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Later. Out. <laughs>